Right guys, welcome back. Um, so in the last video, we looked at kind of setting up the project to talk to you through what it was all about. Um, we looked at editing the sprites. So in this video, we're just starting to look at the character. So we're going to have the character flying up and down by the end of it. Um, the way I've set my sprites up, it means that I'm going to have some form of animation. You don't really need to if you don't want to, um, but, you know, make it look like it's flying. Why not? Um, so to start with, I'm just going to control and select my two helicopter frames and I'm going to drag them into the hierarchy. Because I'm selecting two images at once and, and trying to put them both in, it's it's kind of figuring out, oh, you probably are looking for an animation. So that's exactly what we're doing. We want an animation of the two f frames being turned on and off or switching between the two. So I'm just going to call this animation helicopter flight because that's what it's doing um, and you will see that straight away we've got a component added to it which is obviously the animator because it's figuring out oh you're going to be animating um, my opinion here is that this is probably a little bit too small so I am just going to change the scale up in the top right hand corner I am going to change this to two and you'll see that that's a, a much better size. We don't want to go too much bigger than that because if we do, then it's going to be difficult to dodge things. Um, I've got maximize on play here just in case you get confused with what happens next. But when I click play, you should see, there we go. We've got a little animation. Obviously, it's, you know, trick of the eye kind of thing, but it looks as if it's spinning. Um, so... There we go. So we've got the character in, we've got some movement there in terms of the animation. What we're going to do now is we're going to make a script for allowing us to move the character up and down. Um, so to start with, what we're going to add, I'll zoom in on my helicopter so you can see when I add this. Um, I'm going to add a box collider to this. A box collider 2D, make sure it's the 2D one, we are working in 2D. Um, and you'll see, which is, I'm hoping it's as clear, but it's gone green now. We've got a green line around our um, helicopter and this is where it will collide with other objects. Um, the other thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add what's called a rigid body 2D and this is a nice quick and easy way of adding physics. Um, so the fact that I've added this means I can click play and it'll just fall because I've added physics in there. Um, so you know, we're making progress there. We've got some physics in. We've got something to tell when we've collided. So all we really need now is some form of controller to allow us to obviously control the object. So I'm just gonna go into my scripts folder. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to create and I'm gonna go for a C-sharp script. Um, I'm gonna call this script helicopter controller because that's what it is. Uh, and I am going to double click on that to open it up. Um, let's figure out which one of the scripting uh, softwares this will open up. Um, but what you'll notice is the first time you load up a script in a project, it'll take a while just for uh, essentially the... So I'm loading up MonoDevelop at the minute. Um, but you're looking for MonoDevelop to figure out what your project's all about. And then once you've done that, you should have this. I do apologize, I've got more than one screen, so it uh, keeps going on to the left. So yeah, this is a script. If you're not scripted before, it's not as scary as it looks. Yours might look a little bit different. I've changed the color of mine just so it's easy on the eyes. Um, if you want to do that, you can go to, oh, where is it? Um, I forget where this is. Oh, Google it. <laughs> this is not crucial to the project. Um, but yeah, this is how mine's going to look. Um, so when you start a script, you want to think about any variables that you're going to be declaring. So I'm going to be declaring two variables here. I'm going to be declaring a private, and this is, if I spell it right, this is something that I'm going to find within the script so I don't need to make it public. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This is going to be a rigid body. 2D um, and this is going to be called rigid so yep yeah, this is what this is called let me just show you something as well I'll save this script I'll close it and I'll reopen it sometimes you'll probably run into an issue where 
it won't do the automatic suggestion. If that occurs, just close Mono Develop down, load it back up again. Because um, you, you could see that that was happening there with me. Um, so there we go. Private rigid body, 2D rigid. So the next one is going to be a public float. And I'm going to call this SPD, which stands obviously for speed. And I'm going to say this equals 5F. Because it's a float, that's why I put the F on the end of it. Um, yeah, so this is quite easy to be honest. There's only like three lines of code, I would say. Um, so to start with, we want to figure out where our rigid body is. This is nice and easy. We just go for a, a find script or a get script. So rigid equals get component, rigid body 2D, open bracket, close bracket, hit it with a semicolon at the end. So what this means is that when the game starts, the first thing it'll do is find this variable. This is why it doesn't need to be public. It's not something I'm going to assign. It's going to be something that it finds for us. Uh, the next little bit of code, which is the last bit of code for controlling, goes in the update function. So what I like to do, I just like to give myself some space, just pressing enter. Uh, and somewhere in the middle, this is what we call an if statement. And what this if statement is checking for is, are we clicking or are we pressing on the screen, depending on if you're making this for mobile. So if open bracket input, because that's what we're, we're checking for an input, obviously, dot get button down. And the button we are looking for is and you've got to make sure you put this in brackets and you've got to make sure you put this in quotation marks as well because this is a predefined button. And this is going to be called Fire 1. This is the default for left click or on a mobile just pressing on the screen. So we want to close that bracket, but we also want to close the first bracket we started with. And this is where we add our curly brace. So at the end of here, you add one. And I like to always make sure that I close them before I start coding anything inside. So we've got a closure there. We put one there, we put one there. And this is just one nice easy line. So this is rigid. Obviously we're referencing rigid from here and here. Dot velocity, because obviously that's what we're adding to it. We're adding some velocity towards it. And a new vector two. Obviously it's 2D, so we don't need to worry about a vector three. A vector three does X, Y, and Z. We're looking at just X and Y. Um, and then in brackets, so forward, we don't want to move it anywhere. Um, so, yep, so that's zero. Then comma, so we can put in the Y value. And the Y value for us is just SPD because we can change the speed quite easily. We don't want to assign a number to here because we've got a variable assigned here. So if we go to file, save all, I'll minimize this. I'll click on the helicopter. Just give it a second just to compile that. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this straight across to here. And you can see we can change the speed if we'd like to. Um, so just for the time being, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna hit play and hopefully this works. You can see that when I click, the helicopter goes up. So there we go. That controller is working. We've got a little animation and the helicopter is moving up and falling back down when I don't click. Um, in the next video, what we'll look at is we'll look at adding our hazards into the game, as well as some form of colliders to stop it going off the top like that. So we'll have hazard interaction and we'll keep you in the play space. Uh, but yeah, that's that video. Uh, thanks a lot and catch you in the next video. Cheers.